Okay guys, what's up? Ape Nick Gamer, and we are back. So I'm going to be talking about a heavily debated, well not heavily debated on, but a debated on topic of Pokemon Sword and Shield and how it's going to do. Will it be better than Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee or will it be worse? What's projected to be at and what's coming in the future for this game? And also going over some Twitter and Reddit type conversations that's going on about complaints about this game and what people complained about compared to uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee and how this may affect everything. So first things first guys, Pokemon Sword and Shield just got announced maybe a little over a month ago and um, basically we got our starters. The starters are Grokey, the little ape dude. <laughs> Uh, score bunny and sobble that weird water thing. Now, complaints or recommendations, more like we'll start with that for the starters. Is a lot of people I've been hearing throw out, um, throw out a lot of like you know, use different elements, maybe, throw something new in there, you know, and I totally agree, uh, so, you know, if we use just maybe, like, a rock, a lightning, or, like, you know, a thunder type, electric type, and maybe a psychic or something, it would be, like, you know what I mean, you can make more varieties of starters, which would be cool for once, just switch up, it, switch it up a little bit, but then again, now, to go against that, let's go talk about Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. So everyone disliked how, like, they changed so much. First of all, there was no wild encounter battles anymore. It was, like, Pokemon Go all the time, and that's fine. I didn't really mind it too much. I do want the wild encounter battles back, but I did like the whole catch combo thing. People weren't liking the fact that you had catch combos, and it was easier to become competitive. And I feel like, in terms of shiny hunting, the catch combos were really cool. In terms of getting natures, that was cool. I felt like the IV stature and everything was um, a little much and made it a little easy. But I didn't even mind any of that. It was mainly like the bottle cap feature to boost up all your IVs or your Pokemon. It made it easier for everyone to be competitive. It made it a lot easier in the game, which was kind of annoying for some. Um, I didn't want to have to like also grind a ton to be competitive in every game. And also candies were a huge issue. Don't link, you know what I mean, people were all asking not to link Pokemon Go or third-party things. I feel like there should be a Pokemon box, like the the um, DS had to switch your Pokemon between DS games. Uh, that could be a very cool feature that they could add for us. And um, also, yeah, but no Pokemon Go, none of that candy crap where you had to catch like 200 Pokemon just to get the 200 candies like in a row for that Pokemon to max them out. Um, that was just really a grind game. There was really... And it was more of, um, like, you know, once the, it's like a post game, that was like a post game thing that most people did. And that's not really a post game. I kind of wanted more story. I did like the whole, uh, green storyline and red and blue being in there. That was all really cool and well, like thought out and made, but there should have been a little bit more to the post game. I feel they should have added a little something like the Meltan and Melmetal was also a post game, but the problem is. I didn't want to have to play Pokemon Go to get a Legendary. I just thought it wasn't really worth it. So that was an issue I had with it personally. Um, so also, I would like to say that, remind you guys that this is an opinion-based thing. Please don't destroy my, don't destroy me in the comments for saying stuff I disliked about the game. There's a lot of good things too, though. I did like the wild encounters. Seeing wild Pokemon, they got rid of that idea in Pokemon Sword and Shield, which... I dislike that idea. I feel like we should have kept that because I don't want to be going through the grass and forced to fight stuff. And nothing's worse than when you're trying to go through the story of the game and you just keep encountering like Pidgey after Pidgey after Pidgey after Pidgey. Especially, or if you're like, for example, use the Pokemon Let's Go, the Vermilion uh, Forest. Back in the day, it would be impossible to find Pikachu. You're like, you know, you're looking through it forever to get that Pikachu to spawn. And, like, you don't get the choice to pick what you battle and pick what you skip over. I don't know. I feel like, yes, there's repels. I know that. It's just losing that feature. It feels like they took a downgrade. 
big complaints with Sword and Shield is people saying they're not evolving the series, they're not adding new things. And yeah, to me, it looks a lot like what Sun and Moon was going to be, maybe even downgraded to more like X and Y, and they're going to get rid of the Z moves. Hopefully, they're going to get rid of the Z moves. Um, people are also skeptical, thinking that maybe like the Alolan forms, there's going to be like the, um, I forget what this region is called, I'm thinking it's the Gallon region. Uh, I'll correct that during, you know, editing. But um, people are thinking that there's going to be those type of forms, and that would be really cool to see them add that. At least they're putting in new Pokemon types and features in here. Um, they also, I see they're playing a lot more with snow biomes in this series, but I don't, uh, but what really hurts it is the fact that all the open world of it, that was like Pokemon Let's Go was very open feeling. It felt very, um, spacious. This game, there's a lot of fenced in areas and like set tracks to follow. I feel like they're taking a step back when they have more hardware capabilities and just doing what like the DS already could do when they have so much more capabilities to make it so much bigger than that um so i feel like they're just kind of limiting themselves although they have the hardware it's almost like they don't really know what to do with it right now for a main series pokemon game but now guys let's transition for a second we're going to transition into the sales points of this so guys here we are we are on the page talking about sales for these games now here it is so obviously red blue and yellow red green blue yellow all of them outsold plus they have the fire red and leaf green but these are the top sellers. Um, also, the you know, gold, silver, crystal, heart, gold, soul, silver, top selling. Ruby, sapphire, emerald did well, but that's because they had omega, ruby, and alpha, sapphire. And then we have let's go, but the let's go hasn't been updated on how many millions of copies sold. These are by the millions, by the way, guys. Um, and it's since December thirty first, so New Year's, it has not been updated. Now. My projection is that it's it's gone up maybe another million or two. Um, it was it was popular. It was heavily hated on though by the community, saying that they were doing all these weird features that they didn't like. But I feel like that's what built up the hype for this and like made it so well known that this Pokemon game was coming out and it was going to be a Switch title nonetheless. Um, besides like you know the the Pokemon tournaments, um, which was really cool that they made like it's not a main series game. It's like that like every other year they make. Every other year, Pokemon makes the main series games, guys. And basically, this year they, uh, this past year was the off year for the like the uh, like the non main series games or like the remake of the main series games, which this was supposed to be like another uh, red and green and blue type of game. Or well, actually, it was supposed to replicate yellow, if we're being honest here. But um, so I feel like it did well because if you look at like Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, if you look at Black and White Two. Um, Pokemon Platinum, uh, if you also look at Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, actually did beat out Let's Go, but it's also been out for a whole four years more, and it's only above by like four million. Um, Heart Gold and Soul Silver also did better, but then again, it wasn't like, you know what I mean? And let's see, Fire Red and Leaf Green. All these games have been out a lot longer. They haven't been out for like what has been shown as only for like the first two months of shelf dates so i feel like this game will surpass them and be like one of the best um selling games for like a non-main series pokemon title then again it may not because it was in the hype of pokemon go now this game you guys also have to remember was to bring pokemon go fans onto the switch to buy the switch and play this game it was supposed to be easier dumbed down a little bit more for people who weren't experienced in playing and also for the new generation of kids who are just getting into gaming and the younger kids. So they'll pick up this game and actually be able to understand it and learn it slowly as they go through and just have a good time. So you can play it more serious or you can just chill out when you're doing it. And that's totally fine as well. Um, so basically, but what I think of Sword and Shield now after seeing this, actually, I think that Sword and Shield is going to beat it. Now, also, if we go over here, though, to this site... It does say right here, it stated that um, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee sold 3 million copies in just one week. Now, I don't feel like Sword and Shield is going to have that much hype behind it because there's a lot more hate going towards uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. It's still early, though, since this has been, like, since it's going to come out, like, the time difference. So it's possible, but I feel like it's not going to beat the 3 million. But overall, I think it's going to be a better selling game. 
then let's go Pikachu and Eevee. I think it's going to be balanced more so the more experienced Pokemon players like me and like the older people out there that play this game and especially the PokeTubers are going to enjoy this game a little bit more. It's not going to be as easy as let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee, which was fun, but it wasn't like... You know what I mean? You're going to get into it and you're going to play some Pokemon. You're going to grind out and it's going to be like, you know what I mean? Your normal Pokemon game. I feel like Sword and Shield is going to bring back that normal, like, toughness to Pokemon where catching them all is not going to just be as easy as just walking around and catching them all and then having a friend who has the other game. It's going to be a lot more like searching different times, specific things to evolve them. And catch combos aren't just going to make that Pokemon magically appear. It's going to be a lot more um, troublesome to find them than that. It was just an easy task to find all the Pokemon, in my opinion. Um, let's see. Also, you're not going to be gifted Master Balls if you just walk around in Mewtwo's cave all the time. So, it's going to be a lot more generic, like the main series. Now, is that good and bad? I feel like they should have added some other stuff. Thank God. I'm hoping they're not adding the candies in there, though. But I feel like they could have evolved the game more and done just a couple different things. But overall, I feel like this game is going to outsell Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. And if not, it could be one of the most popular... Well, most sold games besides, um, I would say besides, I think it'll limit itself. It'll beat X and Y is my prediction, and it'll maybe pass Diamond and Pearl. That's how much I feel like it's going to sell. Um, that's how much I think it's going to be a good game. I think this game is going to be really fun, and I'm going to really enjoy it because it's, it's Pokemon. Let's be honest here. I really enjoy Pokemon as it is. Um, and that's to go up against Let's Go, which actually has been talked about to have a Let's Go 2. Um, sadly, we will not be seeing a DLC. I doubt it highly. I really believe that they're just going to make a Let's Go 2, um, which is going to be sad. But, you know, it, it's got to happen. And then, um, let's see. And over here just shows our be the best-selling games. But, yeah, so basically, guys, that's pretty much it. So I feel like... Sword and Shield is going to beat out Let's Go Pikachu and be a way better game for the Switch in terms of sales and in terms of popularity. In terms of functional Pokemon gameplay, that is exactly what it's going to be, guys. I don't think they're going to stray too far because of all the complaints about Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee that they got when just before releasing it. So, yeah, but that's pretty much my opinion on the thing. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, remember, this is, again, my opinion. And if you liked, make sure to leave a like. If you're new, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. This is Statement of Gamer signing off. Peace.